So the new legend Ulta is coming in season 21 and we're all dying to know who Ulta is. Who is she? There's so many theories going on about her potentially being an alternate version of Wraith, her being an evil version of Horizon from another timeline. Well, all of those questions have just been answered because a draft version of the Ulta stories from the Outlands that should hopefully be coming tomorrow has been leaked and I feel like this is what happens when EA lays off so many people at the same time. Like the recent QA layoffs ends up in these kind of leaks because you know people just leak them out of spite But this trailer tells us pretty much everything we need to know about Ulta But it also leaves a lot of questions that will be answered in season 21 So I'm gonna let you know everything you need to know about Ulta and I can't just play the whole trailer I don't think EA will like that But I'll give you the whole story and everything that happens So strap in cuz it's kind of crazy So the opening scene starts off with a man tied up and Ulta is walking around him throughout the crowd She sort of teleports here, there, and everywhere with her evil laugh. And she starts by saying, every person in every world asks me the same thing. And then the man who's tied up is obviously really scared, and he says, who are you? And at this point, she literally has her pink mechanical tail wrapped around his neck, and she has a P2020 pointed at his forehead. I mean, she is badass. This pink tail she uses to kill people and, you know, attack people is really, really awesome. So basically, in every world that she goes to, and the people that she kill always ask, who are you? And that's kind of the whole point of the whole trailer. They just keep saying, who are you? Now, as for her appearance, she has a pink gauntlet on her wrist, which is obviously how she manages to travel through these portals and through dimensions and whatever. And she also has turquoise hair down to her shoulders and really dark eyeshadow and a really evil grin. So I can't wait to see how her personality actually shows through in her gameplay next season, because I know for sure I'll be maining Alter for at least the first few weeks of the new season. Season, and I assume most of you will too. And if you want to actually earn Apex gift cards while you play the new season of Apex, you can do that with Gamer Gains. So why not make the most of playing Apex and earn real cash and crypto rewards or Apex gift cards so you can buy any cosmetics that you like? Just simply sign up to Gamer Gains and link your account and you're ready to start completing challenges in game to earn rewards. They also host some really awesome tournaments where you can earn big crypto rewards, such as their monthly tournament where the top 800 players get paid. All you have to do is play ranked and based on your performance, you'll make your way up the leaderboard and with that comes the prizes. So what are you waiting for? Sign up to Game of Games using the link in my description to get a bonus when you sign up. We're going to be playing the new legend in season 21 so you might as well get rewarded while you do it. And once you've earned some rewards from playing the tournaments, head over to the marketplace and redeem Apex gift cards to spend your Apex coins to your heart's content. So thanks to Game of Games for sponsoring this video as I said, link in the description. Now let's get back to Alter's trailer. Now at this point, she starts telling the story of who she is. Since they asked, she's gonna tell them. So she starts narrating and she says, for years, they raised me to be a killer. And then it shows like an army of kids training to be killers and mercenaries. And then Alter says that she was the best. So she was the best mercenary. No one was close to her. And at this point, you can see a scene where she throws a knife through some dude's neck. Like this dude is sat on a chair and a knife goes straight through her neck. Pretty gruesome. And Alter's there and there are two other mercenaries behind her. One of them has this creepy looking Oni mask, a little bit like the Valkyrie one. But then those two people that are with Alter point their guns at Alter and she says, but they betrayed me and I only had one choice. So from a young age, she was trained up to be a killer. But then at some point, these mercenaries, these people turned on her and she only had one choice. And at this point, it reveals that she has lost both of her parents. It shows a gravestone that just says dead parents and there's a bunch of flowers. And then you can see her getting dragged away and she's screaming. So I assume her parents were killed. Now, they may have even been killed by these mercenaries. You, you never really know. But it seems like once her parents were killed, she got dragged away, and then she was raised by these mercenaries, something like that. But that's a key part. Her parents are dead, and obviously that might be why she's trying to time travel later on. But let's keep moving forward. So, she then repeats again that every person in every world asks her the same thing. Who are you? And it goes through a bunch of different scenes where, you know, she's killing people, and they all ask her, who are you? And she says that 
for years, she sought vengeance for those who were taken from her. So she sought vengeance for her parents. Her parents were killed. I still don't know who by, but she's seeking vengeance. And it looks like she's seeking vengeance throughout different worlds, different dimensions, different timelines. She just wants everybody to pay for what happened to her parents. There's one scene where she's hanging a woman off of a building by her tail. So she's using her tail. It kind of wraps over her head and she's just hanging this woman by her leg off a building. And then of course the woman says, who are you? Then we go on to something really awesome. She says, for years, I was a hunter of the old ways. And it shows a scene where it's basically Bloodhound, but it isn't Bloodhound. It's Alter in their place. So Alter is dressed up as Bloodhound. They have the skull helmet on. They have Bloodhound's axe and they're fighting the Goliath. So Alta is in these different dimensions where she's taking the place of these different legends and these different people throughout history. So for one scene, she's literally in the place of Bloodhound. It's really, really cool. There's another scene where she says she was a dedicated martial artist, but then discovered a passion for football. And it's a really cool scene where she's playing football. There's another scene. She says, I was born of stone with tremendous power fighting to gain immortality. And after some research, this is a Chinese character called the Monkey King, and it's from a 16th century Chinese novel, Journey to the West. So of course, Alta is Chinese, but in this dimension, you know, she was the Monkey King. Then there's another scene where she says, I was the reigning Mahjong champion. So in another timeline, she decided to become the reigning champion of Mahjong, which makes sense because in the firing range right now, there is a teaser where if you throw this giant Nessie into Wraith's portal, then a Mahjong tile will be pushed out the other end. So that's where that Easter egg comes from. Then it goes on to another scene where she says, for years I was the leader of, and then she starts laughing. And at this point, there's like a three-headed serpent or, you know, a serpent with a bunch of heads and she's literally on top of it. So I think that's Hydra. So basically, Ulta has placed herself in a bunch of these well-known mythological scenarios. And basically in those dimensions, she just is those famous characters. There's also a scene where she's literally a baby bird. She just cracks out of an eggshell and she's just a baby bird. It's kind of weird. And throughout all of this, she has a really evil laugh. And then at the end, it ties into the horizon law. She walks through a green portal into like a city. You couldn't really see much of what's going on. It seemed really messed up. Like those cars flying around and stuff. And she's holding a photo and the wind is sort of blowing. And she says, who am I? I'm the one who's there at the end. And then the picture that she's holding falls on the ground and it's a picture of Horizon and Newt. And then she ends it by saying, or am I? With a really, really evil laugh. Or am I? <laughs> And what this kind of reminds me of is from the Marvel Universe, the Timekeeper, who's there at the end of time. It's kind of that whole vibe with Alter. It's like she's just there at the end of time. You know, she can travel through dimensions. She's, you know, immortal, essentially. She can just be where she wants, and she could be at the end of time. But she's coming after Horizon for something, um, and I'm not sure what relation she has to Horizon there. Maybe she does need to time travel to get her parents back, and Horizon's the only one that can do it. But what do you think of Alter? Hopefully that answers all the theories and questions we've had and hopefully you're super excited to see what is coming next in season 21 so drop all your comments what you think of it and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye